Hey friends, today I am at the Lakeland Antique Mall and I'm gonna be showing you an amazing collection of some Disney World and Disneyland theme park used props. We have window displays from Main Street USA inside the Magic Kingdom and even some gigantic classic character figures. This is absolutely mind blowing. So let's go do this. First thing I think I'm gonna show you guys is Minnie Mouse's costume dress. This is from one of the character performers at the, the parks. Like this is used. It is $2,995. I think that is amazing because it is Minnie's dress. And then right below, they have window displays from the Emporium right here at Walt Disney World at the Magic Kingdom. This one is Beauty and the Beast. And you can take a look at LeFou down here. And everyone's trying to break into the castle. So the beast is up here. I'm gonna try to show you. Look at, he's watching people try to get in. And these are from the 90s. The 90s of Main Street USA at Magic Kingdom window displays. Unbelievable. The window units are as tall as me and they're gigantic boxes and they just slide up against the window and they all come with certificates of authenticity and they are for sale some of them are pretty pricey but i mean think about how rare this is i mean so like honestly it is a one-of-a-kind piece because they didn't make backups and the best news is is there's two of them so this one was beauty and the beast on the other side here see how big they are this one is the little mermaid unbelievable right they light up they have lights inside you have ursula sebastian some poor unfortunate souls down here i'll do my best showing the prices on all of the items but if you have any inquiries if you want to know what the price is or if you're even interested in buying any of these items i will put the link for the lakeland antique mall and you can contact them you can call them shoot them an email and they'll be able to give you all the information that you need Look at these gigantic figurines here. Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. These were for the movie premiere, but they are life-size, like gigantic. Sully is huge, and he's kind of intimidating when you're getting like this close to him. I don't know how to compare the size. Oh, I do know how to compare the size. Look at, that is insane, isn't it? He's gigantic, and his hand is like 20 times the size of mine. His horns are so realistic, and even the claws over here. This is really cool. And then also, check out Mike Wazowski. He is famous. You can see he's got some manufacturing information on there. And it says Disney and Pixar, and he's just as cool as uh, Mike is. I mean, Sully. I love it. The Mike Wazowski and Sully figures were amazing. They aren't really like a theme park used prop. They're more of a promotional prop. I know they used it for the opening date of Monsters, Inc. in Los Angeles. Still very rare and still very awesome. Did you guys like how I Mike wazowski Mike Wazowski? I know if you haven't seen the movie, you wouldn't get it, but I thought it was funny. While I'm back up front, I want to show you some of the items in this glass case because these are honestly things that belong in a museum but are here in an antique mall in Lakeland, Florida. And then we have a Mary Blair original artwork back there that is $13,000, $900, so almost 14 grand. And then I showed this in the last video, the Walt Disney autographed Snow White doll. That's Walt's autograph right there on that. And that's almost $13,000 as well. But I believe that, you know, it's kind of crazy that they're here. I always talk about it. This is a Telly Award and it's kind of like a Grammy for commercials. I think that's interesting. It was in 1996. Here is a Winnie the Pooh puppet playhouse from Club Disney. This is awesome. There's a lot of Winnie the Pooh stuff here. Almost all of this is from Club Disney and it all comes with uh, COAs from Disney Anna. So you get all the information about it. I just love it. I love the fact that there's puppets even for it. And they got them all hanging here and you can like kind of put on your own puppet show. You guys know I absolutely love Lion King, so I saw these from the corner of my eye and immediately got my attention. 
take a look at the Animal Kingdom Lodge headboards. You got Simba up top there. These are magnificent. I would love to have this as my headboard at my house. They're $795. And then also, they have the Pirates of the Caribbean headboards from Caribbean Beach Resort. Well, the Pirate Rooms. And I think there's a better one I can show you. This one's $495 and it's tucked away back there. But I love it. And they also have this. And I showed this last time, but I still think it's mind-blowing. This is the like uh, carriage for the hot air balloons. The old Mickey and Donald ones. You can see them at Magic Kingdom right there. That blows my mind that it's here. Take a look at this old Donald Duck special today, like uh, soda advertisement stand. Root beer, ginger ale, grape soda. Even got some actual bottles down there. I love this. This is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Lime cola? And then down here, I think these are just regular cola. I don't wanna lift them up because they still have the soda in them. Wow, Donald Duck Cola. I wish I could just buy a bottle of it. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> but this is so cool. Even the boxes themselves. In the far back, I see this amazing silhouette of Spaceship Earth. So I want to go check that out because I love Spaceship Earth. Look at that artwork. I love it. So breathtaking. I would be proud to hang that at my house. Also, <laughs> the Cinderella and Prince Charming parade costumes are still here. I'm shocked that they didn't sell yet. That's from the 1990 Very Merry Christmas Parade. And they have just so many amazing things over here. Something to go with the Donald Duck Cola is a sign that they have here. And these are really awesome as well. Some framed artwork for the soft drink products, like advertisements. And then there's a goofy dog food advertisement over here that's Walt Disney Productions that is so cool and then down here a welcome to Toy Town sign and it's the Seven Dwarves all of these are like awesome pieces and probably really hard to find I feel like I would love to have any of them Sometimes you come across things that even people that are selling it don't quite know what it is exact But you definitely know it's from somewhere and and this is a perfect case scenario of it right here This gigantic like banner it says the world of blank But we don't know what it is. It's a two-part piece of something But all it is says is the world of if you guys know what that is Let me know in the comments because I'm really intrigued. Now it's time to open up the glass casings and the things that are inside these glass casings are extremely valuable and extremely rare. And that's why they keep them like under lock and key so they're gonna have to open them up for me so I can touch them and show you. Now that all the cases are open, I want to start by showing you my favorite item, the poison apple from Snow White's Scary Adventures at Disneyland. If you take a look at this casing, I'm gonna be very careful with this. This is the apple that Scary Witch is holding in her hand. Obviously right now, the witch is gone, but this is it. It comes with a certificate, unbelievable. I think that's one of the coolest pieces right there. And then down here, we'll take another look at something amazing. Down here is a Disneyland Cappy Cap. This is for children, and it has some artwork from all the different lands at Disneyland, Tomorrowland, Frontierland. It also comes with a COA in the back there. I think that is really fun. There's a lot of amazing items. Some of them are so old and rare, like these Disney candles down here. These are complete. So you take a look, see in here, the candles are still wrapped. Like, look at that. I've never come across candles like this. I love Mickey. Hold on, let's take a look-see at Mickey. Oh, that's not even Mickey. <laughs> that is so funny. Mickey's not in this box. Maybe he's in this box. Let's see. Oh, no. This one's really awesome, though. Holy moly. I wonder how much these are, because I love this. This right here is a Snow White bow. So this is from one of the character performers from Disneyland, the bow they would put in Snow White's hair. 
that's really cool to have Snow White's bowl, I would say. Up here, we have another Main Street window display. This is Ariel, actually. How crazy is that? And it comes with the certificate. And this was in Disneyland in 1989, or I'm not too sure what it says there. Oh yeah, for each animated film release, yeah, in 1989, in Main Street, USA. <laughs> I love the vintage old advertisement things. Like up here they have Mickey's Mouse seeds and they actually have packs of seeds. I think that is so cool. Look at that, isn't it so awesome? And they have the seeds in there. So there's beans, radish. I absolutely love it, I think it's cool. And then over here are some paper mache Winnie the Pooh items. Yeah, Rue and Tigger. And these are from Sears. I've never seen anything like that so fascinating all of this stuff is i love all of it there's only one blue sunoco mickey and minnie a couple cases over they have some very old disney uh plushes donald duck a vintage donald jiminy cricket that is really awesome i think that scrooge in the back as well these are really old and honestly they're kind of scary looking but i like them <laughs> And then over on this side, a couple more rare figurines. These are all from Fantasia. You can see this all in the background there. I think it's so nice, fragile probably though. And then, oh, a root beer jug, Donald Duck. He's really liking the soda. Some Splash Mountain memorabilia. I see a Tony's Town Square menu, $145 or a Diamond Horseshoe menu. A original vintage Mouseketeer suit. $225 still in the box. These are really fascinating. The old toys that they have up here, board games, like Walt Disney's Pinocchio Target game, Walt Disney Ski Jump, the Davy Crockett Wagon, and then Sleeping Beauty's plush baby doll. These are all absolutely amazing. Ooh, Mickey Mouse Explorers Club outfit. This is in the box still. I wanna take a look-see at that. This is the outfit that's inside the box. I, I think it's so vintage and awesome looking. Look at the little little cap there. And then it comes with <laughs> bullets, your pistol holder, binoculars. Very awesome. The belt and everything. Oh, and then right below it is a Pinocchio's ice cream tin. $325 for this. Look at that. Very sturdy. Another really awesome thing from the resorts is all of these all-star resort tables, they have Mickeys all around them. They're $135. They even have the uh, Mickey and Friend hangers, $95 for these, plus all of the all-star music artwork. And they have tons and tons of these. So it's cool that, you know, you can still get these. $85 for this one right here. And then, oh, they have Mickey over here. Maestro Mickey. I love it. So cool. And then on this side, we have a lot of props from the resorts. These are from Pop Century. I can tell you that because these are from the 50s. So Disney in the 50s and it's Disneyland, Sleeping Beauty. And then the 70s, of course, Walt Disney World. And these are only $85. I think that's really awesome. And then they even have a like bedspread from the all-star resort a queen bedspread and all-star movie popcorn buckets and with that i think that's gonna do it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video so many cool items and if you do like any of these videos make sure you like the video and subscribe and also check out the playlist where i show off a lot more disney collections i mean i, I do this quite frequently at all different places different vendors and some of the stuff that i have seen is just amazing and i feel so awesome and it, even though i don't personally own it just to be able to show it to you guys touch it talk about it it's the best thing ever. Anywho's, we'll see you next time. Bye. I thought it would be fun to show you some of the things that I ended up getting at the antique mall. And a lot of people have asked in the past, like, hey, did you get anything? So maybe I'll start adding this on to the vlog. I did do a house tour where I showed off all of my 
collection uh, inside my house, but it has definitely grown a lot in since the last time I posted that video. So I have like some things I can point out to you real quick, like uh, the Country Bear Jamboree uh, Teddy Bear fur. This is her fur, as you can see, her hanging from the Country Bear Jamboree. And I love this because I have it set up like this and I can open it up and I can just touch it, you know? It's so cool. And you can still see some of the pink strands like hanging in there. And I love this piece. This is one of my favorite, but I didn't get this today. What I got today was this table. And I also got this Epcot. Look at Future World. And it has Universe of Energy, Communicore, Journey into Imagination, World of Motion. I'm definitely going to make this something I can hang on my Epcot wall because that's what I'm ultimately going for is an Epcot wall on this side. I have the Epcot Center is open eyes and ears and then also an Epcot Center news brief and this is from day 16. So 16 days after Epcot opened, this is what they gave out to the cut, like the uh, cast members. It was kind of like the planner for the day. Another thing that I got, I am absolutely in love with. It's a little bit large, so I'm gonna have to spread it out on the floor. And I don't know how Gracie's gonna like it, but I love it because I love Gracie. A gigantic French 101 Dalmatians premiere movie poster. I mean, this is probably about six feet tall. Yeah, definitely I would say that. It's definitely a bit taller than I am, and I love it. I mean, it is so nifty looking. I want to frame it. I'm just not sure if I could ever find a frame big enough for this. I mean, it, it is massive. I don't think she likes that poster laying on the ground over there. <laughs> Put it away, Dad. Put it away. That's what she's looking like. I, I, I don't give her any attention. Look, she won't even look over that way. She's looking away. What are you crawling over here for? You don't like it? Aw, but those are your friends. There's 101 of them on there. You love it. Where's my baby? You want me to take this off? She goes crazy when you take this off. 